Amazing. Thank you so much, Ilse. We're so excited to be here with Happy Planner. Again, I am Madison and I'm on the Happy Planner team. I just wanted to jump in here really quick to say hi and thank you so much for spending your evening with us. We have some really exciting new projects and products here with Michael. So I just wanted to walk you guys through those that we'll actually be using in the class with Natasha. She'll be jumping in here in just a minute. So I wanted to take some time just to walk you guys through those and point them out so you can find all these amazing products actually at Michael's now. So here we have first, this is our Seasons of Joy Classic Planner. And this is gonna be available in a vertical layout. So you can see what that looks like. And then those who might be new to Happy Planner, welcome, we're so happy you're here. Um, and then with every month, you'll get that monthly layout that you can see here. And then also, I wanted to show you what that layout looks like and it will look like this. So Natasha selected this to use today. Again, this is the Seasons of Joy Classic. I'll put all these in the chat so you guys have them. Um, but the artwork on these is so much fun. We just thought it would be really fun to kick off planning for 2025. We might as well use our Seasons of Joy to really get you excited for the full year ahead. We are going to be using some sticker books that are new, and we have one that just came back by popular demand. So I'm going to walk you guys through those as well. Um, to start off with the new ones, we have our Radiant Garden. Um, and then just to give you a sneak peek of what those looks like, you'll see some of these used throughout the class, but just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what some of these stickers look like. So you can get some creativity going in case you might need a few new stickers yourself for your planners. Um, next up is the Blooming Bouquet. And these ones are going to be in the classic size. So those really go well with the classic planner. But with all things, Happy Planner can really be used across the board for multiple sizes, different products. So um, you can really just let your creativity take you with anything that inspires you and use it across the board. So uh, next is going to be the Everyday Magic. I'll show you guys what that looks like. So with these, this one has some really fun quotes, some of those really functional boxes that we'll actually use today and show you how you can use them functionally in your planner, but also just to write goals, um, reminders, if there's any quotes that really keep you excited to go through the week and the month and like looking back on your year, that's a great place to use those. Um, then we have the Seasons of Joy by Hey Brie, and this complements the planner we're going to be using today. Uh, so this one's really fun just to kind of take you through what that looks like. Um, so you can see it really like has it leans into the Halloween. I cannot believe it's October 1st today. So that's a fun one just to throw in there. So you can see that. And then last with this one is back. And this is going to be the planner essentials. So this have everything you need to do for everyday things to fun little reminders in your planner. So with that said, we can jump right into it. So I will move on over so Natasha can take over on the fun part of this class. So we'll swap over to our other views. So you guys can get a look. But actually, I'll introduce Natasha as well. Hello, hello, everybody. How is everyone? Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be here. And I'm so stoked to do some vision boarding for you all today. And I have brought some goodies from home as well. And I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to get started. Yeah, if you want to swap to this view, they can see your hands on products. Oh, so yes. We'll have you move Over on here. Oh, yeah. gosh, I love that. Okay. All righty. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. I am so, so excited. Okay, so we got some goodies here. We got some markers. I hope all of you guys at home have all of your supplies and everything. Um, I also brought home the sticker sheets, the dates and numbers and the alphabets. Um, these should also be over on the Happy Planner website as well. Um, but if you don't have these, that's totally okay. Use whatever you got. Um, and I also brought some pictures home of just like from home of just things like the kiddos and some quotes. So we'll definitely be adding some of these. I love vision boarding. It is like my favorite thing. So, and it's something that I do at the beginning of every year. And I kind of want to show you guys too, um, 
some that I've done in the past. And usually when I do vision boards, um, it's basically like goals that I want to achieve or things that I like want to accomplish throughout the year. Um, now this was from 2025. And as you can see, I didn't do the back side of this. Um, but Oh, sorry, 2022. I think I said 2025. But this was just kind of like my vibe for this year. I added some stickers, um, some of my favorite things. I have family photos, some quotes. Um, and then this was actually uh, 20, I think this was 2020. And this was the year that I actually tried out for um, to be a part of the Happy Planner Ambassador Program. And that was one of my big goals. So it's just things that you can like, and this was all like happy planner stickers, washi tape. Um, and then sometimes, and this I just made recently, actually a couple of months ago. And I actually used um, happy planner. It's like a little like pocket that they have also on their website. Um, and it's just like photos, photos of my friends, the kids, my nieces and nephews, and then I have like a front and back. So you really make it what you want, what you envision. And you guys, it doesn't even have to be the beginning of the year. You can do this once a month. You can do it once a week even. Um, whenever you feel like inspiration or maybe your vibe is changing, it's just really good to just get in there and really use your stickers in a creative way. Um, and just all of your happy planner things. So I personally love holding on to some of my favorite dividers. So we have a bunch here. Um, and I always look for like quotes. You guys don't throw away your happy planner dividers. They are so perfect for this project. Um, and again, you can do this multiple times a year. But I think I'm actually going to go... I don't know. I kind of like this, the Hello Happy, I think is super fun. Um, so I'm going to be using that. But you guys, keep your happy planner dividers. I just keep the ones that really um, I'm drawn to and that I love throughout throughout my year. I'll pull them back and I'll save them. And I usually just keep them. I usually keep them in like a little happy notes. Um, and I go back to them. And then you can even make little bookmarkers too of like little vision boards, whatever your inspo is. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use this Hello Happy. And I usually love to keep vision boards right in the front of my planner. It's my favorite thing to see right when I open her up. And you can also use it as like a bookmarker, maybe keep it each month. Like let's say we're in March and I want to keep it in my March monthly. It's there. So just wherever you want to keep it. Um, I personally like to keep it right in the front. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. Okay, so I have some like random photos here. We also have some quotes. And again, like if you guys just, oh, this is cute. If you guys just have stickers, you can 100% work with that as well. Um, and even like magazine clippings, like use what you got. I found these, I don't know, they're not even stickers. It was, it came in my daughter's little like, open house box. And I was like, oh, these are cute. So I decided to keep them just anything that you can work with. Um, so I'm going to be doing the front and back of this divider. And you guys are going to see how I'm going to kind of cover this up. But my main thing is I want to keep this like hello happy. Um, just so it's like front and center and I can see it. Um, if it does get a little covered up, that's totally fine too. So um, we also have some markers here in case I want to do a little like quote for myself. But right now I'm going to be doing this for my 2025 vision board. So I actually, because this is such a big quote, I'm going to actually put this on this side because I want to cover up as much of this as possible. So I'm going to take this double-sided tape and you can also use like a glue stick, whatever you have at home. If you have regular tape, a glue stick. If you only have washi, you can really make it work. So I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put all these like big ones right here and just cover this I can cover up, no problem. Does anyone have any like questions so far? Let's 
see. see. Everyone's excited. Everyone loves the idea of using the dividers. So we love oh, that. Oh, yes. And I know like too, you guys, like um, sometimes people are like, oh, I need to buy card stock. Like look in your planners, like look what you have because the dividers have such great artwork. And I know a lot of times, sometimes when I'm using my planner, I'm like, oh, I wish I can see this divider all the time. And if you make it into a vision board, you can 100% do that. So utilize what you have, make it happen. Even stickers that you're just like, oh, I'm not really feeling this particular sticker, but then maybe later you will. And you could just slap it on. Just like use all the things. Um, love it. Someone so asked if you have a theme in advance or how you kind of plan your vision boarding. Um, oh, that's a really good question. So personally, um, I kind of call myself like a beautiful, chaotic mess when I do this. I love just like collaging things and like I feel the flow when I'm doing it. Like I just kind of go with it. Um, so like, if you look at this one, this old one that I did, I just started putting pieces together and it just came out in this, like, I think it's like a chaos. It's total chaos, which sometimes I feel like is my life. Um, but I love it. And I kept it for years and years and years. So some people I know when they do some vision boarding, they like to keep it very neat and like, they will do a theme. So sometimes they'll do like, for example, if I'm doing florals, I would add some more floral stickers maybe to this um, divider. Um, but you can definitely, you can do whatever you want. If you feel like you work better, like being a little bit more um, maybe organized in that sense where you're like kind of planning ahead and just seeing, okay, I want to like pick this and I want to pick this. And you kind of have an idea in mind. Um, I'm more of just like, I use what I have on hand and things that I love. Um just because sometimes I feel like it takes the pressure off a little bit yeah. and it's just something that's supposed to really express my artistic side. And to be completely honest with you guys, I am not the best at drawing or, <laughs> or painting. Um, so when I use stickers and when I use things um, like my happy planner dividers and stuff, I really feel, a, Ooh, let's use some of these. I really feel like I'm just getting into my creativity and I just feel like in my zone, if you will. So I really enjoy it. And I just kind of like, it's like, I don't know, it's like my me time. And I feel like everybody should have a little bit of that me time for them. And this is what that does. I actually was talking with some friends um, and we were saying how it would be so great to just like vision board like once a month. Um, and just like kind of just like figure out what we want our 2025 to be and what we envision for our 2025. So as you can see right now, I'm literally just throwing stickers on like quotes. This says unapologetic, which is basically in 2025. I want to just be myself. I don't want to Oh, bring this up. Uh, just bring the paper up. If you oh, this my quote. Yes. So this is just something I printed on paper at home. And it basically says, whatever you accept about yourself cannot be used against you and be willing to own your truth. And it's just like more of that. Um, what is that word I'm thinking of? Ad affirmations. Yeah. Like inspiring, motivating, um, just quotes that like I need for 2025. Um, of course, I have like a little surfing little surfing girl, uh, yeah. Leah Dawson. She's like a famous surfer and 2025 is like getting back out in the water. We're doing the things. So it's even things like, okay, so surfing for me, I'm so up and down with it. Some, some years I'm so good about getting out in the water. And then sometimes I really get in my own head and I get scared. So vision boarding that really helps me, um, kind of face that fear a little bit. It's a, rem it's a constant reminder for myself to put myself out there and to maybe go out and get some waves. Or even if I'm just like paddling around on my surfboard, it just is a reminder to get out in the ocean and kind of face my fear and do mm -hmm. the things that I love. Um, let's see, someone said, and you kind of covered it, but 
um, would you recommend doing a monthly vision board or yearly? But it seems like if you really find what works best for you personally, what really helps you set your goals for yourself? Yes. It really depends on like how you're feeling. So like for me, I always find vision boarding is really helpful when I'm not feeling very motivated. Um, I get really pumped at the beginning of the year and which is why I usually do them at that time because I'm like, yeah, it's a new year, which we all are, right? We all get super excited at the beginning of every year. Um, but you know, there's times where it's like, oh, maybe I didn't accomplish that first goal in the first couple of months. And instead of just getting on myself where it's like, oh, I didn't do this and I want to give up instead, I'll be like, okay, well, let's make a vision board and what's inspiring me right now. Um, because maybe those things change and they, they will change and they do change. And that's the whole point of vision boarding is to kind of work with your, with your vibe throughout the year, because change is inevitable. It's going to happen, which is why I absolutely love vision boarding because it kind of gets you back in that inspiration of your, of what you're doing. And you could just have a really busy year and, um, it kind of just like helps you stop and be like, okay, what am I into right now? What's really like driving me? For um, sure. Really yeah. quick. They just want to see what sticker book that is. Would you hold that oh, one up? And yes. that one is Blooming Bouquet. Blooming Bouquet. Oh, this one's such a pretty one. I was just going to say too, as I was like putting these stickers down, I'll get a little closer so you guys can see. But these stickers really pop. I think that's a poppy plan words. They really pop. Um, but I'm already like loving this and I definitely want to add more here and here. Um, it never would have occurred to me to use the dividers. Oh yes. Yes. I know you guys use all the dividers. Don't sleep on the dividers. They are the best thing to use. I'm going to put some, I'm really feeling this like moon vibe, the celest celestial love it it has some really good um quotes in it too like focus on the now this one says uh just breathe which i feel like i need a lot of in 2025 because i signed up as a room parent again so i i need to make sure i'm in the headspace for that someone asked where do you find your quotes um so a lot of times it's like happy planner dividers so a lot of times when I'm looking and seeing like what the design is, they have really, really good quotes on happy planner dividers. Um, but also Pinterest, Pinterest is like the place to go when you're looking for quotes. And sometimes I'll just like put in the search bar, like, Oh, quotes, like that's all. And then if I see something that really like, um, stands out to me, then I kind of go in that direction. Like this one's unapologetic. Like, so for me, it's like being myself, being true to myself. And I kind of just went down that rabbit hole. And again, you don't need fancy paper. Like if you, even if you don't have a printer, I know tons of planner babes and dudes that just go to Walgreens or they go to CVS and Costco even, and they just print out like some quotes, they print out things that like are meaningful to them. Um, but also you guys magazines, like magazines, big time, like I'll be looking through a magazine at like the doctor's office or even like the dentist's office. And sometimes I'll ask them like, can I take this page? <laughs> and they let me, they let me do it. They'll, they probably think I'm like weird, but whatever, we're going with it. Um, I'm also going to be using this radiant garden sticker book. You guys, this one is actually one of my favorites from the fall release. Um, Ooh, really quick, let's yes. show them the one you just used previous. Oh, this one. Planner Essentials. This is also a fave of mine. Planner Essentials. And this is actually for a big, but I use all my planner stickers for everything. So the big and the classic are really just... I don't know. I just use the stickers that I like and that are useful for me. Um, but yeah, this one is a good one really to, to keep productive and functional throughout your day. But if you're doing something like vision boarding, this is also good to have. Like right, these stickers right here that say like, yay, um, or now, let's do that. This is something you can even use as like goal setting. So I'm going to flip her over and I'm going to put it right there. 
Now, again, like totally fine if my style does not fit your guys' style. The point of this is to make it your own and that you love it because it doesn't matter if I love it. It matters if you love it because you're the one that has to look at it all year. And if let's say you're like, we get done with a class and you're like, oh, I really wasn't stoked on that or I wasn't happy with it, make another one. Just make another one. Start over. That's that's what's so great about this is that we could start over. We could do the things. It's just whatever you would love. Yeah. And then I think someone's asking if we think more than one vision board may be counterproductive. But honestly, I think and what we've talked about mm -hmm. is that it's really up to you if you have multiple for different parts of your life. I think it's really such a personal journey with these. And I think you just really find what niche is best for you. A hundred percent. And if if you are the type of person where it's like, OK, it's 2025 and I need to set my goals and I want to do this once a year. You know what? Go. That's you. Go for it. But if there's someone who's like, hey, I need a little bit of a reset once a month and I need to kind of just like get inspired or maybe I'm losing a little bit of motivation. That's what works for you. It, it really is whatever. Cause the, the point about vision boarding is yes, you're setting goals, but I kind of feel like vision boarding is also giving yourself the opportunity to set goals throughout the year. Like you're not just setting them at one time a year and then you're done. Like, we all live a real life, right? Everybody has life and life happens. And I kind of feel like vision boarding, especially multiple times a year is so great because you can give yourself that opportunity to like reset and be like, eh, January wasn't that great. Let's start again in February. Eh, February wasn't great. Let's start again in April. I'm going to take March off. Like it's really whatever you want, whatever. There's no right or wrong. There really isn't. It, and it's just up to you. It, even if you set those standards for yourself, like, well, I'm only going to vision board at the beginning of the year. And then you get into February, March, and you're like, I need to reset. Break your own rules. Like, you could do whatever you want. Like, that's what's so great about making these boards and planning and using your planners is that you can really do oh i'm sorry i shook it i'm really getting into my <laughs> i'm really getting into it over here um you got to do what works for you and what you love oh no so maybe just to... take us through your process now so you've added your stickers yes and now um so usually what i like to do is i do my quotes because i want my quotes to be really like popping out i like to see them um and then i kind of go around that with some pictures that i like um, I like, I, I printed this one out. This was just like a flower bouquet. Um, and it was so simple and sweet, but it's just something that kind of, I like, so I just see things that I love and I just put them on my vision board. But the first thing I do is I always do my quotes first. Um, and it's okay if you cover them a little bit, so long as you can see like the main thing going on. Um, because I don't know. So, and there are times, you guys, where I sometimes even cover up the quotes and I don't realize it because I get so into the process. Um, and I always end up loving it anyway. So it just, I don't know. I just like put stuff down. I always try to keep quotes open, though, because that's like my reminder to myself um, that what I want to accomplish that year or that month. And then I kind of just I layer. I do a lot of layering. Um so like here I have this picture of my kids and they're reading with their aunt and I'm like, oh, where can this go? And I just like left this open because I wanted to write. But now I'm thinking I may just cover this up or you could just cut your your photos, too, and kind of just make them adapt to what you're doing. So that's what we're going to do right now. And again, totally fine if you guys don't have photos. There are times when I vision board. And I don't have pictures and sometimes I only have like two sticker books um, because on, I, usually when I feel inspired, which is really weird, it's always when we're like traveling somewhere and I don't have a lot of my stuff um, is usually when I get like inspiration to like make something. And I think it's because my mind is quiet, but like right here, I covered this flower. So I'm just going to add another flower. I love adding stickers on top of pictures too. Like, I just feel like 
it just makes it like like it's almost a sticker itself and just kind of goes with it like that isn't that cute my kids are a little bit older than that now but it's a constant reminder to remember they're little <laughs> and to have more patience always as a mom um do i have any more questions let's see so let's see everyone's loving the divider Yay! which i love um, let's see, what would you say your big goal for 2025 is? Are we going to, how are you going to like work that into your Yes. Board? Okay. So right here, I have this like, yay. It's a sticker that I just pulled from the radiant. Was it radiant? No, it was the, um, it came from the sticker book, Planner Essentials. And I, this is what's so great about using your planner stickers. Um, right here, it says, yay, brilliant, get it done, big goal, bright idea, random, true story. So I'm actually going to write some of my goals on here. And I'm going to take this pen. Um, actually, let's use a marker. Ooh, because they're right here. Is this one? Oh, there we go. I got it. Um, I'm going to use this one because this one really pops. Ooh, and then we have to add some, you guys, don't be afraid to use washi use up that washi so for me i'm gonna put in here surf which is my top goal for 2025 also reading i want to read a book at least once a month so i'm gonna put a little note here like with a little arrow that i just want to be able to read once a month and then also journal i really really want to get um, serious about giving myself the time to journal. And oh, let me use this pen right here. Sorry, oh. really quick. Yes. Those are just the regular stickers. Um, they are not dry erase. They'll just come from the Happy Planner sticker books. Yes. These are just regular stickers from the planners. And these, I, the paper ones, I always find are better to work with because they're paper. So it's easy to read on or write on. Um, but use all the things, you guys. I'm going to put once a month. And then over here, I'm going to put journal. And then this is going to be every, every day. That's the goal every day. And that's just something to kind of like as a constant reminder to myself, like, hey, girl, don't forget to do this. Now, here I might put something like a quote that I love. Um, or maybe I'll put another picture. Oh, this is a nice pen. Oh, I like this one. Um, actually, I'm going to put here 2025. And I'm going to put here is your year because I don't know. I just want to like inspire myself that like, dude, 2025, this is it. We're doing the things. I really like this pen. Okay. So now with that, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to list some things here, some more things. Actually, let's do that now. Um, Cause also cooking is something I want to do. I want to bake and make my own bread. That is a huge thing. Let's see. Yes, 2025 is your year. You guys are so inspiring. Thank you. Which pen is that? Oh, yes. Okay, so this is a Sarasa Fineliner from Zebra. Can you guys see? There we go. Screenshot that, you guys. And then we also, oh, is this from this? Oh, okay, so it comes in other colors. Make sure you guys screenshot that because, you know, we all love pens. You're welcome. Okay, so let's actually, I'm going to change up the color here because I want to use this red and maybe this pink. Okay, so we're going to bake. And we're also going to be writing bikes and fire pits i'm adding more fire pits to my year because i'm such a summer a summer girly that i really want to like enjoy 
weather out here in California. We don't get very much of it, but I want to enjoy what I got. So I'm going to add a few more pictures over here. Do you guys have any favorite quotes um, that I could add to this? Let me know some of your favorite quotes. Because honestly, the quotes thing is such a big thing too for uh, vision boarding. Is add, get those quotes in there and motivate yourself and inspiring. I love the Sara Sarasa fine liner, so do I. Yes, oh, one day at a time. Okay, we're putting that in here because that's such a good one. I love that. What color should I use? This red one? Let's use orange. Here, right? It goes very well. One day at a time. Oh my gosh, I really needed that. Because I always feel so rush, rush, rush. And that's that's the thing about doing stuff like this. I absolutely love it. I love vision boarding and I love that the time it gives me. My favorite quote is protect your peace. <gasps> Let's write that over here. Oh, let me get another. This gold one is really pretty. Let's put that right here. And again, so see you guys how I covered up these stickers and don't be afraid to cover stuff up and don't be afraid to layer because we're just going to relayer over that. So progress, not perfection. Nothing is impossible. It's not a loss. It's redirection. Carpe diem. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love these. I also saw someone, um, what was the other one I was going to put that I really liked? I forgot. <laughs> I know. I got her Pro excited while the other Oh, ones. protect your peace. Yeah, you guys, those are, and you guys get ideas from, write though. If you guys see a quote that someone's commenting, write that quote down because we're all here. We're doing this together. Um, I saw someone mention about doing seasonal vision boarding. Oh my gosh. That is brilliant. I love that idea. Speaking of seasonal, uh, Happy Planners, Hey Brie, Creative Studio collab. Um, you guys, this is Seasons of Joy. And this is perfect for something like that. And you know, Happy Planner, we have fall stickers, spring stickers, uh, holiday stickers, whatever you celebrate. We have a big, big holiday sticker book as well. So the seasonal vision boarding Whoever said that, yes, I'm here for it. Like, that is such a brilliant idea. All this, oh, I think that was earlier, right? Oh, yeah, I think it was. Let's get together and be all right. Oh, I love that. Let's add, I'm going to actually add to this some fall ones because I think that would be cute. Let's add like a little pumpkin, even though I'm going to see this all year round, but that's what's so great about it, right, is I'm going to see it all year. So really it pertains to like the whole year. So I love that. And how cute are the ghosties? We're going to throw these ghosties in here too. Oh, where does the ghostie go? You can go right here. Perfect. This is such, you guys, that's such a good idea with the seasonal vision boarding. I love that. Okay, so, oh, let's do this Life is Sweet, too. So, also, if you guys also want a vision board and keep it in a colored theme, that is also something you can do. Um, again, I just like to do all colors and all, like, everything. I'm just kind of, like, an array of, of all the things. Um, but if you guys are like, hey, I want to go for a green theme or an orange theme, um, that's also a really good way to vision board as well. I'm just going to snip this. Don't forget, you can always do surgery on your stickers. Don't feel bad. They want to be used. You got to use them. Actually, I'm going to put this back here. And I think I'm going to even put like another little quote right here. And it's okay if it covers. No need to panic. It's whatever you make of it. And I think I'm also, I might even add like a little, um, actually, let me put a quote here. So do you use the vision board in your planner? And if so, how? Uh, yes, I do. So one of the reasons that I do 
love using Happy Planner dividers is because it is so easy to pop it in your planner. Um, I, I personally like it right in the front when I open it up. It makes me happy every time I see it. Um, and it, honestly, it never gets old. I love seeing my vision board. Now, if you use multiple vision boards, um, I recommend maybe keeping like a little like a little book. Like I keep these in a little happy notes. All of the vision boards that I've made, I keep them all in a happy notes. Um, and I just collect them throughout the years. So if you guys do monthly vision boards, that's also a way. That's why it's so great to use the dividers because it's so easy to just pop um, in your planner. Also, we have the happy punches as well. And those are also on our website. So if you buy cardstock, you can also punch your cardstock to make it fit in your planner. Um, and Happy Planner has a lot of these like little accessories and knickknacks on the website as well. But just make it your own and just like this one, I usually chop off my little divider part and I decided to keep it on this one um, just because I think I might want to put it in every month and just see it there every month and just have like a constant in my face. Um, it just depends on how you are too, like how what kind of a planner you are. Um, but you guys, I'm going to use some of these washi tapes as well. And I'm going to throw these in here. This is scal scallops. Scallops. And just throw it there. Do we have any other questions? I love that you guys are loving vision boarding. How is everybody doing? Yes, I think this is so exciting. And again, you guys, so... This planner is currently available at mm -hmm. Michael's along mm -hmm. with these sticker books that Natasha is using. So these were part of the fall release, but these are going to be great to really kick off 2025. This is a January start planner. Yes. So really get your vision boards going, getting excited about 2025. So Michael's has some amazing Happy Planner products. So check out their website. Um, we will link it again. But um, yeah. Yeah, um, check it out. I think I'm going to do another one, actually. I'm going to use, because I've been eyeballing this divider, too. Um, so I don't know. I think I'm going to decide probably at the end of this which one I'm going to be using. Uh, OK, so I think I'm just going to add these year stickers really quick to it. Wait, is this one? No, this one's the one with the numbers. Um, just a heads up, when you guys do your vision boarding, I always recommend like at the top somewhere, if you write it, if you use stickers, put like the date. So for this one, it's going to be like a 2025. Um, so I'm going to do... 2025 on this vision board if you're doing like a monthly situation you could put june 2025 march 2025 just so that way when you look back you know exactly what year it was for because sometimes i'll look at my vision boards and i'll be like oh, i have some that i'm like i didn't put a date on and i wish i did so dating is always key with these for sure um so now i'm gonna go ahead and use this divider and to be i think with this one i'm going to do more of like a colored theme so let's go with like a pink vibe um because in these pictures they're kind of pink, they have pinky tones so we're going to go with that just kind of keep in the theme of things and this is me during summer break i don't know a long time ago with my planner when leopard was really in, but I heard it's coming back for the fall. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like sometimes too, when you're vision boarding, sometimes you can get caught up like in the perfection of it. And don't think about that. Like, I know it's hard, but just go with it. If you mess up, cover it up. That's what we have the stickers for. Cover it up with a sticker. So I'm going to put this right here at the bottom. And I think I'm also going to be adding some quotes to this one as well. So this divider actually says, enjoy every moment. And it kind of says it over and over and over again, um, which is why I loved it because I do. I want to enjoy all the moments. And then this is going to be fun because I've never really stayed in like a color theme before. So we're really going to make sure that we stay in this kind of like pink theme. So I'm going to put some purple stickers here. Um, 
Also, a good theme would be like, I feel like um, a more recent one that I saw on Pinterest was like that bows, I think it's co coquette. Is that what it's called? Um, and I kind of wanted to do a vision board with like a bunch of little bows and pretty pink florals and stuff. So, oh, I forgot I'm staying pink. I got to stay with the pink stickers. And I immediately went with a daisy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Variety. In I there. know, it's all the variety. So I'm also going to use these because this has a lot of pink in it. Trust. Trust that your magic will guide you. I love that. And also, you guys, you do not have to do both sides of the divider. If you want to, go for it 100%. But if you're just like, I just want to see the front of this. I don't need to see the front and back. Totally fine, too. Or maybe just decorate it later. That's always an option as well. You can always come back to it. You can always figure out what works for you and your timing. I love this little skinny washi as well. Let's use this. What if you did like a mid-year recap? Gosh, like you could do the front Ooh. at the beginning and the back in like June. Yes, I love that. So Cheyenne's basically saying like at the beginning of the year, um, do your vision board in January. And then when you get to what, July? June, July. June, yeah. July, you flip it over and you do the other side of your vision board. <gasps> I think that's what I'm going to do with this one because I really, really like that idea. And then that kind of gives you that incentive when it's in your planner to be like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to like decorate that. And you could start like collecting your little magazine clippings and all your things. Oh, that fit perfectly. I love that. Let me go back. This had a lot of pinks in it, too. And I'm going to write some quotes here as well. But again, I love adding clear stickers over my pictures. If I can get it. Come on. There we go. And it's okay if you go off your divider. You can always trim it. So don't worry about that either. I think this one I am going to trim the little piece off right there. And also, if you guys, sometimes I laminate them, sometimes I don't. Don't feel like you have to laminate it. You absolutely do not. It will stay intact for years to come. Do I have one? I think this one I have. Yeah, this one is not laminate. And look, I didn't even do the back. I should have done your little tip with that. But yeah, just something just to keep it there. Your planner will keep it safe. But we're going to add more pinky tones to this. That's a cool moment too, Tosh, because you said like life changes. Maybe your goals change. Oh, yeah. And they will, you know, throughout the year, your goals will totally change. Or maybe you'll get new goals. Um, and you can, there. it would even be cool to kind of add something to where it's like the goals that I accomplished mm -hmm. um, oops, sticking to me. So, you know, like, okay, these were the things I did. Like, what do I want to, what do I really want to put like the pedal to the metal and get done um, before the year ends? But I love that idea. I think that's such a good idea. Um, let's Almost see. like a reflection space. Yeah. And like the other thing is too, I think with vision boarding, is at the end of the day, it's just something to kind of get you to love opening your planner, you know, because I know we love opening our planners and seeing our planners. But when we really create and make something that, you know, we put time and our creativity into, it kind of inspires us to like open our planner and makes us happy. Like for me, it makes me so happy to like, see my planner and see my vision boards and be like, oh, Yes. Sometimes I just look at them. My kids look at them. It's just such a good moment. So you guys go all out on the vision boards. There are no rules. There's no right and wrong. You just got to do whatever your vibe is. Um, and again, this is, we're just doing the pink theme here. I'm going to pull some pinks actually from this seasons of joy because, oh, this is perfect. Do you guys see that? Do what makes you happy. That is so perfect for this. I even like, should I turn the page over? But I think, I think I'm okay. Oh, where should I put? The, I'm going to turn the page over. We'll just do it really quick. There we go. And this will be pink as well. We'll just make it all pink. I'm in my pink era for 2025. So 
I think this is going to be a good start for my next vision board for sure. But I love how these came out. How How is everybody's turning out? Let us know. Are you guys like enjoying everything? So how would you say, like show us how you're going to put these in your planner so everyone can kind of see oh, yes. as they're finishing up their vision boards, how yes. they want to kind of set up for so success. Let me show you guys. So again, I like to keep mine right in the front. Um, or you can always keep it, let's say January, you want to keep it right in the middle of your, of your month. You can do that too and use it kind of like as a bookmarker. Um, but for me, the front is always best. Now with this one, if I make more than one, I'll usually keep this one in the back and then I like to rotate them. Uh, but I love this idea of going back mid year. So this one's going to stay here for now. And then mid-year, I'll come back and finish the rest of it. And don't be afraid. It does not have to be completed. You can always come back to it because, um, you know, we all got lives. We get tired. It's okay to come back to your vision board. But thank you guys so much for joining us today for vision boarding. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had fun. And remember, vision boarding really is all about you and what inspires you, what motivates you throughout the year. Um, I know 2025 is coming up and we put pressure on ourselves to have these goals and get them done. But that's what's so great about vision boarding is you can really take your time and think about what you love. Exactly. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. And we just wanted to say thank you so much to Michaels for letting us come on here and share all these amazing new products with you. And thank you, Natasha, for yes. showing us so many inspirational things for 2025. So we are so excited. Again, yep. you can find these products on the Michaels website and please tag us in all of your vision boards for 2025. We cannot wait to see the goals you guys all accomplish. Thank you. Bye.